Hey guys, that's my best friend Janelle. That's my best friend Chanel. Yay. So, uh, we prepped you guys for it. We're doing the memorial video for my dog. Rest in peace. A rapper C to Chucky to Grandpa Chuck to Rat Baby to, you know, he had his many names that he was known by for everyone. Um, we had him for 15 years, and <clears throat> that dog saw, saw me through a lot, a lot. Um, saw this entire household through a lot. And I think Chucky even saw me get beaten. <laughs> right? He I don't remember. Chucky honestly. saw me get beaten here. We, you know, from high school, <clears throat> go right back. Um, yeah, he was there through everything. Um, I I think I had left the house um, for a few years and I just remember saying like, you know, one of the like biggest things that I miss at my house was when I was going through something, when I was having a rough day, um, whatever it was, I would come home and I would just like cuddle with him on the couch. Um, this couch actually. <laughs> This couch, I actually have pictures of us just like cuddling together. Um, he's like wrapped up inside my my hoodie and we're just sitting there watching TV and um, you know, it just made you feel better, like momentarily anyway. Um, he was there just through everything. Um, we had him from when he was a little baby. Um, he was a Yorkie, by the way, I forgot yeah, that. So he was tiny. Um, I'm sure people are wondering how the hell I wrapped him up in my hoodie, but yeah, he was tiny. Um, yeah, so that came as a huge blow um, during my Christmas vacation, and I spent about a couple days just um, in the house just crying and not wanting to go anywhere. And I felt really... Um, guilty because of just leaving him um almost feeling like we left him to die and i know we didn't he was old but he still ran around like he was a, a puppy you know um there was as far as we knew there was nothing wrong with him except that he had arthritis um, so, you know, every now and then, and it didn't even really affect him regularly. Every now and then he would, you know, I guess if he had too much activity or whatever, um, he would be in pain and we'd give him little doggy Advil. And then the next day he'd be up and jumping and around again. And, um, you know, we didn't, we didn't know anything was wrong with him. And so we left him with my aunt and we had only been gone a few days and, um, we get, you know, the phone call that he's not doing well. And we just kind of thought that he was just missing us because the entire family went, you know, on a trip for Christmas vacation. And um, we thought about taking him, but he's old. He's 15 and he had never been on a plane before. And um, we'd have to have quarantined him. And we didn't want to put him through that. Um, I didn't know if he, you know, he would have been scared out of his mind like we just didn't want to do that to him so we decided to leave him with my aunt which you know he had stayed with her prior and he loves my aunt my aunt loved him um they're familiar with each other he you know was there for the first couple days running around chasing ducks you know in the neighborhood and it was we thought we were doing the best thing. And I mean, I, I think we did, but at the same time, it just doesn't make me feel good that, you know, we weren't able to be there for him when he was there for us through everything for the last 15 years. Um, so uh, we got, you know, the call on Boxing Day morning for my non-Caribbean people, <laughs> that is the day after Christmas, um, that he wasn't doing well, that he was um, 
pacing and walking in circles and not able to walk and walking backwards when he was trying to walk forward and falling over and all kinds of stuff and we were like what the hell like okay he needs to go to the vet and um they took him to the vet and when he got there he was basically comatose and my aunt called and was like you know they need to know what to do because he's going and they need permission to put him down and um we didn't want to let go until we spoke to him at the very least if we couldn't be there so um we kept trying to call like video call and um there was no reception in the vet's office and we kept trying to FaceTime and, you know, we ended up getting the doctor's number to FaceTime just to try to talk to him and um, have him hear our voices before he went, try to see him before he went and um, it just didn't work out and he ended up passing. So it was pretty uh, traumatizing and um, emotional. And, you know, when we got back, um, as I said in the other video, I was dealing with my mom and she was in the hospital and I would come home and the house was empty and I wasn't hearing his collar jingling. And um, it was just a lot. And I would come home and just kind of go straight to sleep and I was just sad and my aunt still had his things um, his doggy bowl and his bed and all that so it was just empty there was nothing there he wasn't there um, and it took a while for us to actually well for me to go um, get his stuff from my aunt's house because like I said I was dealing with my mom in the hospital and Everything was kind of crazy for a while, but I heard him a few times, um, you know, just little noises um, that um, was kind of him, like what he would do, like scratching at the door when he wanted to be let back in. And those things kind of actually made me feel better. Um, I know other people would probably be sad at it, but it just made me feel like he was still here. Um, so every time that would happen, I would smile and eventually had to go get his stuff from my aunt's house and you know there's more emotions and i just decided that he's here <laughs> um we're not looking at getting another dog right now um, or at least i'm not i don't know about anybody else in the house like i just can't right now um because it's still his home and i got his bed and I got his carry case and I got his food and his collar and his um, bowls and everything. And when I got home, I put his bed where it's supposed to be and his carry case where it's supposed to be because that's where he's supposed to be. And that's where he still is. <laughs> so I am just going to... Um, Take you guys I guess on a little tour and show you where we built our memorial and um, have my brother say a few words about him because I mean it was my dog but it was really my brother's dog that I confiscated <laughs> I think we all did we all confiscated him because he was our rock um, yeah my brother got Chucky at what like four five i don't even remember how old my brother was um i w i think i had just just started high school which would have been what like like four or five like somewhere around there right um and yeah, yeah it was really supposed to be my, my brother's dog but he became all of our dogs and he was my cuddle buddy and he was my rapper c <laughs> and her rapper c um and yeah, he was tiny, but he had a lot of oh. a lot of heart and a lot of personality. And he smiled. He smiled <laughs> when you said his name. And 
when you called him, he, he smiled and he sneezed when he got excited. And he would pee on you a little. <laughs> well, it's okay. <laughs> and he peed when he got excited for a long time, but he stopped after a while. Um, I think in his old age. And, um, you know, he'd try to bite people when they come too close to you. Like, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? He was a thug. <laughs> <laughs> and... And when people would come into the house, like, guys that he didn't know, like, the guy who cleans the fish tank and, like, the gardener, like, whoever came to the house, like, he would be ready to rush them, especially if they were in the backyard with our birds, like, he was like, no, 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 like, those, 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 those are my, my friends, like, why are you going close to them? Um, <laughs> um he into a fight with a cat one time that was actually pretty funny i know it's not meant to be funny but he got his ass whooped <laughs> and it was like yo bro i ain't messing with those but he was fighting like he didn't care <laughs> and he came back home and i think what do you have i think he had a little scratch on him or something and we we're like oh you got your ass whooped but it's okay because we still love you you're still chuck boo um yeah but that was Chuck's, and I don't know. He was just everybody's little grandpa. Of Before course, I first see. like a little baby, and you know when you'd use the bathroom and he'd sit outside and wait for you <laughs> outside the bathroom door. Trust me, he thought he was so slick. He would uh, try to outsmart Janelle and go see his mom, and she'd be like, "Oh, you coming through here?" And he's like, "No, no, no." I ain't trying to come see you. Like. <laughs> when, you try to, when you try to put him out, like, to use the bathroom before he goes in his cage for the night, and, yeah, he just would not be having it. He'd go hide under beds, and, um... He understood us. Yeah. So, um, you know, I felt like we needed to talk about him a little bit. So now we're going to get some words from my brother, and then I'm going to show you his memorial, and we're going to have a little, pay um, our respects to my grandpa. Yes. And we're going to have a little video montage afterwards. Stay tuned. Alright, so a little backstory on Chucky. Um, when I was four or five years old, I was given a wish from Make-A-Wish Foundation. And being so young, I had always wanted a dog, so I wished for a puppy. I didn't specify what puppy I wanted. They surprised me with it. I think Chucky was around six or seven weeks old when I got him. And I was instantly in love with him when I saw him. Make-A-Wish not only gave me him, but they took me on a shopping spree for all of his necessities, his toys, food, his cage, everything that he would need. They even gave me like a vet um, certificate for like a two two year contract or something like that. And <clears throat> for the next 14 years, he was my best friend. I would go to school, go to work, go wherever and the world would beat you up as it does you know and you come home and i would just cuddle with him and he made everything better um of course you get irritated with the dog when you know they pee on a carpet or poop in a house whatever the case may be but that's still your family like he became family he's not just a dog and <clears throat> When I heard about what was happening with him when I was with Janelle in, in Jamaica for a Christmas trip, it was tearing me apart knowing that I'm not there with him, you know? Like, there's nothing that you can do to help or fix him, keep him here with me. Not that I wanted him to suffer or anything, but I'm glad that he was with my aunt and they had that bond. So guys, this is where we built our memorial for Chucky and we put it exactly where he should be in our house, as I told you. 
um, because this is still his home and this is where he should be. So we lit a candle for him and we put it by his collar and his little chew toy and they gave us some of his hair as a memento I suppose um, to rem remember him. Of course we don't need a memento to remember him but it's nice to feel like you have a little part of him and so that's his little spot still where his food bowls go and that's his bed where he goes <laughs> um, and everything is still just as it's supposed to that's still his spot that's still his carry case and that's still his house <laughs> oh, wait. zoomed the wrong way so um yeah We'll always love you, Chucky. <laughs> You'll always be in our hearts and we'll never, ever let you go. Never. Rest in peace, my rat baby. Yeah. Um, to end it right now just is really weird, but you know, come back next week for another video. And help some of you guys could relate to this because I'm not very mushy and I don't usually do stuff like this but um I felt like it was necessary not just for him but as I said other people um I hope you guys can relate it's my best friend Chanel it's my best friend Chanel <laughs> it's my, my brother Brandon and that's where my chuck ball goes <clears throat>
about you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you Hi Chucky, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. It's my birthday, it's my birthday. Hey Chucky. It's my birthday. Happy 13th birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs>